Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm actually really sad to say this, but this is going to be the last thrifting video that I make in 2021. It makes me so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna get started on this whole 12 days of vlogmas situation that I'm attempting. I know that I already gave you guys a Christmas thrifting video, but I found more. <laughs> and once you guys see what I found, you will see why I had to make a full other video for you. Okay, so I will say, a lot of the stuff that I found this time, I did not film. Some of it came from the Goodwill bins. Some of it I did catch on film, but you'll see that a lot of this, you're gonna be like, I never saw that in the footage. And that's because I didn't record it. Honestly, I've been recording so much stuff lately that it kind of slipped my mind to even think about filming in the Goodwill bins. But I found such good stuff. I'm really excited to show you guys. I did want to say that today's video is a collaboration with Danielle from Homemade Vintage. Danielle was one of the very first thrifters that I started watching on YouTube. I had been watching lots of um, younger girls. I mean, Danielle's really young. It's so funny because I remember watching thrifting videos of like 20 somethings who were mostly doing clothing hauls and thinking, man, like, you know, these girls are, they've got some cool stuff or like, I don't feel like these girls have the aesthetic that I'm like hoping for. And then I found Danielle's channel and oh my gosh, you guys, her style is slightly different from mine. It's a little bit more, it's a little bit more vintage, a little bit more traditional and like not nearly as many plants. <laughs> her stuff is amazing. You guys will love to see it. I'm gonna give you guys a little preview right here. She's got a lively personality. She's from Texas. I used to be a Texas girl for a hot minute there. I'm back in Nebraska. Danielle's home is just beautiful. She does such a great job thrifting. She decorates her own home and thrifted goods and she resells some of her stuff on eBay. I need to figure out how to do that. I don't know all that stuff. So like I said, y'all, I'm just a newbie over here. I'm figuring it out as I go and I'm bringing y'all with. After you watch my video today, you guys should go over and watch her channel as well. She's going to have another thrifting video for Christmas time. So look out for that. Okay guys, are you ready to go to the thrift store with me? Let's go. Okay, so I actually started recording when I found these. It's this cute little nativity set. It's all white and gold. I was obsessed. Okay, so this pretty brass thing, I liked it, but it was four bucks and I'm not 100% sure what it is there for. Is it to set your pans on so that they don't burn your table? I don't know, let me know in the comments. I was intrigued by these things, but they were a little bit terrifying. Oh, this just makes all of my Ralph Lauren dreams come true, but we just got new stockings, so I couldn't do it. I loved this stocking, it was so cute. It even had R on it for Rosie or Ruby, but we just got new ones so I couldn't pick up another one. Okay, y'all, I would actually wear this sweater, no lie. I actually had this in our cart for a little while for the girl's Christmas tree, but I wasn't sure how to connect it to our lights, so I passed on it. Okay, these weren't a Christmas item, but I thought they were so beautiful, so I thought I'd show you guys. But man, 20 bucks? I don't have that in my budget. These were gorgeous. I don't think I put the price on them, but they were like $15 each. And again, just not really in my budget right now. Looking back on it, I should have gotten these green bulbs. They were so pretty, but I really try not to decorate with green. I only try to decorate with red and white, and I let any green in our home be just greenery.
these placemats and I really should have picked them up, but the table that we have is just way too small for a placemat. Especially these green ones. Ugh. I was honestly trying to justify buying this just for the brass bells, but what is this, like a, a wine carrier? I don't know, we don't drink a whole lot of alcohol, so I'm not 100% sure about these things. So cute, but we don't need it. And $7.99. You guys, this picture, it was huge. And with everything in me, I wanted to buy it, but there was no price on it. I'm guessing it honestly wouldn't be that much, but we have so many big paintings like this and just nowhere to put it. Okay, I didn't include this in my haul, but I actually did buy this coat. I didn't look at the price. It was $9.99, but y'all, I'm obsessed with it. I'll have to show you guys maybe in another haul how it looks on. These plates, part of me just loved these, but they were pretty scratched up, so I decided to pass on them. My parents had these glasses growing up though. I debated on these turkey plates for a little while, maybe for like fall or Thanksgiving decor, but let's be honest, I don't really decorate for Thanksgiving. I just do Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, I know that I didn't include all of this stuff in my videos. And I apologize for that. I honestly, I thought I was done with thrifting. <laughs> oh, when am I ever done with thrifting? I thought my house was like, you know, perfectly decorated, but little did I know that I was not even close to being finished. So let me show y'all what I found. Oh, you know what? Let me just start with this raggedy thing next to me. <laughs> the first thing I found was this little Christmas tree. I found this at the Goodwill outlet. So it was at the bins. It's not in excellent shape, but when I found it, it was in way worse shape than this, which is probably why somebody got rid of it. It was literally just completely matted on one side and just crunched up and a lot of these branches. Basically when I found it, every single tiny branch was pointed in some wrong direction. As I've been walking past it, I've been trying to like take it and like make them all go in the right direction. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little time consuming. But I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like anyway. It almost looks like so imperfect that it looks real. <laughs> you know when you see those ugly trees on the side of the road and you're like, oh my gosh, is that even real? That's this tree. <laughs> I don't know how much this thing weighs. Again, it was a Facebook marketplace find. So I would say maybe, you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> just kidding, I don't know, maybe like seven pounds or something like that. So it probably wasn't like the cheapest, but I really liked how it looked and I love how it looks in our home too. You guys are gonna see this in the home tour, which is gonna be coming up this Sunday, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's coming up this Sunday. And I'm gonna be doing another collaboration with a really awesome YouTuber at that point too. So look out okay so this next piece i have been looking for for so long and you guys will see it in the footage um but it was this brass horn you guys see these all the time in christmas decorations but i mean it's not like you can find an actual brass horn in like walmart or target it's all like fake brass or wannabe or just like replicas of you know but i was so happy to find like a real brass horn i found these ribbons also at the same thrift world and they're these kind of like velvet Velt, velvety looking ones. These were like 50 cents each. Oh, this horn was, gosh, I'm trying to think if it was $1.99 or $2.99. It might've been $2.99 because I don't feel like this is two bucks. I couldn't pass it up. I mean, it was coming home with me the minute I saw it. But really when I brought it home, I thought it was just gonna look perfect when I put it up and it looked so bare. So I'm trying to figure out something to make it look a little bit nicer. I've got some, some greenery that maybe I'll put kind of like along this bottom part too. I'm just not really sure. You guys will see it in our Christmas home tour and I'll have it looking as best as I can do, okay? <laughs> Set this sucker down. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
Of course, I just knock everything on my chair down. These were another Goodwill outlet find over at the bins, and they're actually heavier than you would think. This is the only thing that I bought on the day that I went in to get these, and I think they still wound up being like five bucks. So that gives you an idea of how much they weigh. So I'm thinking that I'm going to put these on, ooh man, they're kind of sharp too. But I think I'm gonna put these on our front door. We've got that wreath that I showed you that we put up. It's like a newer version of this one that I have right here. And I think I'm just gonna hang these in between that wreath, like kind of in the middle circle just to kind of give it a little bit more character but then again I don't know are these gonna get ruined if they're out in the snow but also do I really care they're not my size they're a size smaller than what I wear and they're basically only going to be used for decoration so I don't know we'll see but I was so happy to be able to find them I see people decorate with these in their Christmas decor and I always think it looks so classy. It's so classy, just like me. I did find a couple of wreaths. My goal was to find one that we could put on our kitchen cabinets. So I realized that I don't have anything to hold them onto kitchen cabinets. Like I've seen people have like just nice, like solid ribbons that go over. But I have nothing to attach the ribbon to on the other side. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I was really hoping to find three to kind of go on our three main cabinets but I couldn't find it. So I found this to try to attempt to do that. I went up putting it on a pegboard that we have in our kitchen and I feel like it looks really nice there. So it's not going to waste, don't worry. This one I actually do have hanging on our kitchen cabinets. I went up using the Santa. It's like, it kind of comes off a little bit because obviously the thickness is way bigger than what our kitchen cabinets are, but you know, you can't win them all, okay? Sometimes things just have to be wrong and you just have to be like, you know what, I tried my best. Does anybody else just kind of like do what you can with what you have? <laughs> like I have this, so this is what I have to use. I found this one at the same thrift world that I found the brass horn at and it was $1.99, it wasn't bad. And then I went up putting another one of these little pretty bows on it. I love that these bows are kind of like a dark, red. I mean, I told you guys I'm not crazy about red, but it does show up in a lot of our Christmas decor. So I liked that these were a little bit more understated uh, and I found three of them. You saw the first one on the horn. This is the second one and the third one is over here on the door. For the next item I want to show you, I, I didn't feel like taking down that whole wreath. You can see that I found this pretty hook that has these bells on it. Most of the doors in our house wind up just staying open all the time but this is actually one that we wind up opening and closing a lot but i love it because it just makes that jingle noise every time we open it you know what that's what i want in christmas i want some dang jingle bells next i found this cute little scarf for rosie i don't know maybe it's made for an adult i have okay i don't think this is how you're supposed to wear it <laughs> it's like caught on my head but maybe it's an adult size scarf but for some reason i was just thinking that it was kid size when i got it so i told rosie that it could be hers but it's pretty it's by the brand march bray edinburgh um and it says 100 percent lamb's wool i just thought this was really pretty it's kind of like a burberry dupe and you know what i'm all about a dupe y'all and i am not too good to have some wannabe clothing in my <laughs> in my house okay so this next piece i have to be so careful with but you guys know how i have been looking for a white nativity and they're not as big as i would have liked i mean i just thought these were so beautiful i was looking for an all white one and this one was in almost perfect condition and i loved the gold details i just thought it was so beautiful and classic looking my grandma always has nativities like all over her house and she's got ones that are hand painted some that she did and these always remind me of her and so I'm so happy to have this one. I would still love to find a larger version of it but I guess you know sometimes you can find like the stables. I would love to find a stable that would fit all these guys in it and I guess that that kind of makes it a little bit bigger. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about either. I have like no room in this house. We live in a little tiny bungalow and here I am like wanting these giant nativity scenes as if I have room for it which I obviously don't. <laughs> Lastly, I want to show you guys this awesome sled that I found. So I love that this one has um, the red blades. I don't, what are these called? And the wooden part is super faded. I really like that. Oh, okay. On the back, it says SLA, like Slay and Co. Here, I'll show it to you guys. Maybe some of you know what this is or where it's from. You can kind of see that stuff, but I just loved how neutral it was. I mean, y'all know that I'm a neutral kind of gal and I just thought that it would go with our decor really nicely. Guys, I'm popping in here because I totally forgot to show these to you, but I also found these really pretty plates. We are going to be hosting Christmas dinner at our house this year. Dinner meaning like 
noon. <laughs> but we're gonna be hosting Christmas dinner this year. And so I thought that these plates would be really beautiful to do some of our serving on. I did the magnet test that some of you guys suggested and these are not brass. So I don't know what they are. They actually don't have any labels on them, but I just thought that they were gorgeous. And they're gonna make my Christmas extra fancy. Also, these were $1.99. I'm so sorry that I never tell you guys the prices of things. I just get so caught up in everything I just forget. So please forgive me. It's kind of hard because a lot of stuff that I do is from the Goodwill outlet. And so a lot of times I honestly don't know how much it costs. I just know how much everything was all together. But if I don't post the price on it, just ask me and I'll let you know. You guys, I always forget everything. <laughs> But I also forgot to include that I found a Santa mug. I don't know if I had mentioned earlier, but I actually do not have any Christmas mugs. And so when I was at Thrift World the other day, I also found this Christmas mug for, I think it was $2.59, maybe $3.59. I think it was a little bit expensive just because it's like, a great mug, obviously. I've used this like every day and that's probably why I didn't have it in my thrift haul because I've almost forgotten that it's new because I've used it literally every single day since I've had it. But I thought it was appropriate because I know that Danielle from Homemade Vintage loves Santa mugs. She collects like all of these cool vintage ones and I have never even seen one in any of our thrift stores. And so, you know me, being a neutrals gal, I loved that it was all white. And so I'm just gonna let this be my Christmas mug this year. Well, guys, now can you see why I couldn't let that all go? Why I had to show you what I got this year. And I found these after I did my decorate with me. You guys, this year has been so fun. Honestly, doing a YouTube channel has been a dream of mine for years, but I always felt like I was too, this is gonna sound silly, and I know y'all are gonna roll your eyes at me, but I always felt too old for it. I always felt like, you know what? Like I'm not in my twenties anymore. Everybody who does YouTubes are 20 year olds. I had no idea that my primary audience was going to be 55 to 65 year olds. My second largest audience is 65 plus. And so truthfully, that is the biggest honor. Honestly, just knowing that I have like thousands of moms out there supporting me that i mean you always want your mom to be proud of you and my, i mean i love my mom so much but just knowing that like real adults are interested in what i have to say and are interested in the items that i'm i'm finding i just like that's such a compliment to me and so if you fall within those categories leave me a comment below you guys have been such a wonderful source of encouragement all of you ladies who have been through this season of motherhood and have helped me along the way like and you guys have blessed me so much if this is your first time watching my video thank you so much for being here danielle is just a rock star if she sends you over let me know and if you haven't seen her videos before y'all get your heinies over there <laughs> you are going to absolutely love her content and her stuff is some of the first stuff that i watch every week and she's probably going to be embarrassed about me saying that but it's true i love her channel thank you guys again we'll see you next time bye